Hi everyone, George Farmer here, content creator for Tropica Aquarium Plants. In this video, we will take a close look at the 75 litre or 20 US gallon planted aquarium and discuss each component part that makes it a successful aquascope. In particular, we will cover lighting, CO2 injection, substrate, liquid fertilizers, filtration, plant selection, and maintenance. Light is the most important factor to consider when starting out with a planted aquarium. Not all aquariums come fitted with a strong enough light to grow some plant species, so do your research. If in doubt, you can stick with the easy category plants that can grow with lower light intensity. You can find all of Tropica's easy plants on our website by selecting the easy category in the search facility. This Awaze Starline 85 aquarium comes supplied with two 8 watt LED lamps that are ideal for easy plants. The lights are set to come on for eight hours a day, which is ideal for most situations. A basic plug-in timer is used to automate the photo period. After lighting, the most important aspect to promote healthy plant growth is carbon dioxide or CO2. The plants use light and CO2 to photosynthesize and grow. There is a low level of CO2 already present in the aquarium water, but to help achieve better growth, it is a great idea to add more CO2 via a CO2 injection kit. Tropica supply two CO2 kits, the CO2 System 60 and CO2 System Nano. They are both designed for small aquariums and more info can be found on our website. In this case, we're using a pressurized CO2 system with a Tropica 3-in-1 diffuser. We inject it at around one bubble per second, which gives us around 25 parts per million CO2. This is ideal for optimal plant growth whilst remaining a safe level for the fish, shrimp and snails. The planted aquarium substrate is designed to anchor the plants and feed their roots. We are using Tropica aquarium soil which is great for providing nutrients and also lowers the pH and hardness of the aquarium water. It's very easy to use and doesn't need to be pre-washed or have any additional nutrients added. In the longer term, if specific plants require more nutrients, the nutrition capsules can be added. Plants will also benefit hugely from having nutrients through their leaves as well as through their roots. To add these nutrients, we add either Tropica Premium or Specialised Nutrition. Premium Nutrition is designed for aquariums with less plant growth and more fish. Specialised Nutrition is best for densely planted aquariums. In this aquarium, we add two pumps or four millilitres of Specialised Nutrition every day to keep all of the plants well fed. Filtration and circulation are essential to keep the aquarium livestock and plants healthy. In here, we are using a small external filter with a built-in heater set to 24 degrees Celsius. The filter is responsible for cleaning the aquarium water, both mechanically and biologically. Circulation is essential to enable the plants to have access to CO2 and nutrients. Without sufficient circulation, we can experience dead spots, which lead to poor plant growth and algae issues. Choosing the right plants is essential to ensure they will grow well in your setup as well as look great for the aquascape. You can check out our website for details on every plant that Tropica supplies. You can also see our plants used to great effect in different aquascapes on the inspiration section of the Tropica website. Don't forget to also check out our in-depth plant profile videos that are updated weekly here on YouTube. Finally, in order to achieve a successful aquascape, it needs to be maintained appropriately. In this case, we change 50% of the aquarium water every week. Before this is carried out, the aquarium glass is cleaned, the substrate is lightly vacuumed and the plants are trimmed. The water change is done right at the end of this process in order to dilute any waste organics that can be dislodged and start floating around in the water column. If these organics aren't diluted, then this can trigger algae growth. This is why we must do the water change as the last part of the maintenance process. Once a month, the filter and hoses are cleaned. Every day, two pumps of Tropica Specialized Nutrition is added and the fish are fed at the same time. Algae is kept in check by a combination of healthy plant growth, good maintenance practice, and an algae eating crew consisting of shrimp and snails. So there we have the key components of how to achieve a successful aquascape. It's important to note that each one of these needs to be sufficient in order to promote healthy plant growth and therefore a beautiful looking aquarium. The good news is that it isn't difficult or expensive to achieve success, especially if you use easier plants and lower levels of light. 
Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see an in-depth video on any of the topics covered. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing if you haven't done so yet. We upload new videos every week. Take care. Bye bye. Thank <music> you.